Why is this online dating app study from 10 years ago still super true to this day? And what can we learn from it all? Let's talk. Yeah, this TikTok is going viral from LJ The Truth. He is referencing a study from the book Dataclism by Christian Rudder. Let's play the clip. Y'all know about the Oxford study that hyper analyzes the romantic relationship and attraction between white men and Asian women, right? Well, it seems like those two demographics are considered the prizes in the dating pool to most other races. According to this study of a Facebook dating app that revealed that most men fancy see Asian women, while a majority of females prefer white men. Researchers looked at 2.4 million heterosexual interactions on this dating app, and here's what they found. When the men made their advances towards the women, black women had the lowest response rate towards white men, whereas white, Asian, and Latino women all had the lowest response rate towards black men. When the women would make their advances, every single demographic of the men would have the lowest response rates towards black women, including the black men, oddly enough. Black women's highest response rate was towards black men, and white, Asian, and Latino women all had their highest response rates towards white men. And finally, all the different demographics of men had the highest response rate towards Asian women, except Asian men who preferred Latinas. These are just some of the key findings of the study. Black men and women get the lowest response rates to their messages. Most men prefer Asian women, with the exception of Asian men, which is kind of crazy. And all women, except black women, are most drawn to white men. So it seems like not only do white men and Asian women have an affinity for each other, but it seems like most of the other races prefer them too. Boom, and are we talking about tens of thousands of comments across different platforms, tens of thousands of shares from people of all creeds, colors, and backgrounds want to comment on this. Yes, uh, guys, uh, we are talking about Asian women, white guy couples. Obviously, this is something we have talked about it on our channel before, but it's not just Asian guys in the conversation right now. I think everybody's wondering because statistically, it just exists. Even this guy, Brian Shu, this self-renounced statistician, well, he does that for his job. Uh, he made this TikTok, and I'm going to play it here. White male, Asian female is improbably the most common interracial couple. They are a quarter of all interracial marriages. Despite Asian women being only 8% of married women, they almost outnumber Asian male, white female, white male, black female, black male, white female. White male, Asian female couples are statistically weird. So I think this study went so viral because it's just not talking. It was talking about all races, but it said that all races of women, Andrew, preferred white men and all races of men preferred Asian women, according to online dating apps, not real life, guys. I understand online dating apps. That's a uh, self-selective population, possibly a little bit more nerdy, a little bit more introverted, professional, uh -huh. computer centric. But I'm saying the stats are the stats and it's big data. Yeah. It also said Asian guys prefer Latina. I thought that was interesting. But either way, guys, obviously this confirms a lot of people's feelings and observations. I mean, so we're just going to... Because it's at this point, and, you know, we've talked about this topic on our channel a lot, and I don't want it to, like, get into a so negative all the time. You know, the discussion can be very matter-of-fact. Like, hey, guys, this is almost like discussing how many Asians go to elite colleges or how come, like, so many Filipinos enter the medical field or, like, South Korea investing in a K-pop. Like, these are just, like, statistical facts. Right, and I believe that 10 years ago bringing this up was more taboo, but I noticed in 2024... Like we said, the advent of big data starter packs on Reddit. People are just more willing to like talk about social phenomenon that they notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and before we get into David's theory on why he thinks that this coupling is so pre prevalent, I do want to note that like there's always people who are like, hey, just let people love who they want to love. Why do you guys keep talking about it? It's like, that's fine. This is just an interesting statistical anomaly. And of course, when it comes to dating and desirability, it does have to do with self-confidence, self-hate, uh, masculinity, your self-worth. So it is like a cultural phenomenon, essentially, that's going on here. Yes. So that's why we're talking about it. Again, I personally am not talking about it in an angry way. I have no negative feelings about it, but it is a real thing. So let's chat. Tens of thousands of comments, guys. Hit the like button, uh, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Small Ass Sauce at smallassauce.com. Pre-orders open now. All right, man, we're going to analyze this as if we're aliens. Like, we're not even human right now. Ooh, we just trying to try to come up with the theories on a scientific level like Einstein. I'll say this. I think that for a portion of Asian girls and a portion of white guys, they represent the ideal embodiment of femininity 
and masculinity to each other. Now, I'm not even saying that they fully do, but I think that that idea is out in the ether and that may cause some Asian women, for example, Andrew, to give white guys a two point bump. And maybe she's bumping Asian guys down one point. So now an Asian guy who's an eight has the same raw score as a white guy who's a five. So then a white guy who's a seven is like a 10. Mm. Do, you know, do you see what I'm saying? I'm saying it's like, we all like may, you know, for somebody who really likes trucks, Andrew's just like, man, I just love trucks uh, over any other type of car. They just like give trucks extra points when they're making their buying decisions. Right. Like even if you see a nice uh, Honda Accord, they're like, yeah, it's not a truck though. So I think what you're That's saying- That's what I got my eyes trained on is a right, truck. Right. But what you're saying is basically like, in in a lot of Asian women's eyes that white guys may embody the perfect balance of masculinity, right? Maybe they're not too masculine, but they're more masculine than Asian guys, yes, right? Yes, yes, at and a baseline. Two white guys, Asian women embody like this femininity where it's like, you know, they're the stereotype. And for some reason, obviously for good reason, Asian women are considered the most feminine, right? So of course, it's just as, I guess you could say it, it's as simple of an equation as, a uh, masculine guy wants feminine female. Right. Ooh. However, I do think that on a second tier consideration, if we're going to get really analytical, like I said, like Einstein, like an alien from three body problem would break this down. Uh, I think you have to take height, BMI, and wealth income assets also into consideration. But those are way more difficult statistics to gather, you know, yeah. versus like, whatever was in dataclysm. I mean, I think the truth is we could go on and on and we're probably going to make more videos. Maybe another video is listing all the top 10 reasons why this still happens on uh, why the white guy and the Asian female is the most interracial couple by far. Like well, also that they're the most responded to on the online dating right, apps Right, right. Well. And I think that we can make multiple videos on that. But anyways, guys, I'm sure we will make more videos. But let's get into the comment section, David. What did people say? All right. Right off the bat, somebody said, it's just a percentage. This isn't true for everybody. This is only based off online dating apps. They don't really reflect real life. However, other people said, no, how come, why don't the dating apps reflect real life? And someone said, yeah, it does. But for example, I'm black. And I'll tell you this, attractive black women do not use dating sites and same with high value black guys they don't even use those period so mm. they're they're questioning the data set oh interesting yes uh i don't i think dating apps are becoming in 2024 even versus 2020 in this five-year span i think more that everybody's on the apps so you say I guess more I could, representative of reality than it used to be yeah i again i don't think your reality is always different because it depends on how you act in person who your network is and what environment you're in exactly and what mindset you're in right obviously the dating apps is only one aspect of life but it i think now it does reflect more real life than it ever before, but maybe not exactly. Right, right, right. Because I want to say 75% of new relationships in a big survey are due to online in 2024. Mm. Um, the next set of comments said, man, the mid white guy and Asian girl dynamic is crazy. Someone said, not going to lie. Every Asian girl got a band kid white guy as a boyfriend. And then of course, some people came with some photos of like right. hot Asian girls with like, I guess, computer programmer looking white guys. Yeah, this is pretty common. And then white guys started popping, popping up in the comment section saying, dude, considered I'm the prize and I still get no bites, bro, I'm cooked. Mm. Um. Yeah, you might be. I don't know, man. I don't know. You got to go overseas. Um. Somebody said, if she bad, she bad. Us Americans are such weirdos with color fetishes or racial fetishes. And then uh, somebody said, just be hot and you'll do fine. I do agree with this. That This is sort of like a, a way to sort of take the discussion out of race. But I think oftentimes people find it hard to find people of other races hot if they're not into that race initially. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's where the color matching and the color aspect comes into play. This Asian girl said, I think a big part of this is because Asian women are so fetishized and black women are often masculinized because I believe that black women were the least responded to on online dating apps. Right. Uh, so this sort of refers to it. Other people said, yes, if you consider femininity, well, this is from a black girl, if you consider femininity to be a doormat, yes, because we are not going to be like that. And, you know, of course, there's an arguing. And they just said, but nah, man. Somebody said, nah, man, the Asian food is just too good, bro. It's just the Asian food is too good. Um, people were interested, Andrew, in a study from Dataclism about Asian men having a really high response rate to Latina women. Do you have a comment <coughs> on this? Uh, this is from 2013. So I think it is interesting that Asian guys, what, 
contacted Latina women No, no, the no. Most? When uh, Latina women contacted Asian men, Asian men had an extremely high rate of hitting them back. Mm, yeah. I mean, that could be because of stereotypes in its own. Maybe... Maybe back then, if an Asian guy gets contacted by a Latina, you kind of assume that, I don't know, you assume things about her wanting to have fun. I'm just saying that's what I could see happen. So again, this study, although from Oxford and using legit numbers, is from 2013. I do think the world is different, right? And I do think that there are more black people on the dating apps nowadays, so that pooling and the data might be a little bit different. But even comparing this to all the other uh, statistics that we have and observational data, the white guy and Asian girl thing seems to stand true. Right. This next comment said that basically Asian women look at Asian men the way black men look at black women. Um, and then somebody just said, conclusion, Asian women want to be white so bad and Asian men want booty. That's, that's funny. Yeah. That's yeah. hilarious, uh, actually. <laughs> I just, you know what? We got to move on. Somebody said, um, uh, picking... White women, Asian women over white women is wild, especially for a white dude. And some white dudes came in and were defending white women. But somebody said, nope, nope. White women are completely washed due to feminism. This was a really common thread I saw, Andrew. White guys <laughs> saying they still liked hot white women, but they said they can no longer deal with their personalities in 2024. Like I said, this is like almost an internal white world battle between Bill Burr and things like Yeah, the point is that like uh, minority women and especially Asian women maybe have like this humbleness to them that like white girls don't. So if you find an attractive Asian girl who likes you that is Americanized, then you get the Americanized attitude, but without the net negative kind of uh, uh, maybe privilege side. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's complicated. I think that these discussions, they, like we said, the, the really interesting thing about LJ The Truth's TikTok, Andrew, is that every race is in the comments section commenting. And very rarely do you see that because usually online spheres, sometimes they're just like relegated to like one group. Right, or you know, like uh, I would say maybe like 80% of the people that are going to comment in this video, our video, are probably going to be of Asian descent. There's going to be some non-Asians, but primarily it's going to be overwhelmingly Asian. Oh, on our video. This video. Yes, yes, this video. But LJ's the truth. Obviously, he's black himself. He had a lot of uh, African-American following as well as other people. Um, this guy said, that's why when white men feel like everybody's racist towards them, I just laugh. And somebody said, the, a white guy came in and said, nope, there's plenty of racism against us, but it's sour grapes because we're killing it so more hard. So, of course, there's like, you know, that turns into a bunch of micro debates. Um, I actually pulled some comments, Andrew, from a white website that's like slightly like pro-white, I guess. I'm not sure. Somebody said uh, th these comments were from uh, whitish women. I don't know if they're white Latina or white women saying that basically um, white guys are wiping their own bloodlines out with Ling Ling. <laughs> and that this is a <laughs> and this is an attack tactic from the evil East. So it right, got geopolitical. Right, right, yeah. I wish nah, I wish it was that simple, actually. Um, other people said, no, nah, just par for course. Doesn't really, nothing really to surprise me here. Then it turned into a gigantic argument, Andrew, between some white guys who say that white guys should keep the white race alive by marrying white women and some other white guys who really love Asian women coming in there going, bro, it's a wrap. I'm just adapting to the new world that the world is the way the world is changing. Oh, that's hilarious, man. White guys are debating. Yo, white guys like, yo, man, I'm mixing in. I don't care. It's over for white bloodlines, pure white bloodlines. And then the other side's like, no. We got to keep it going. Stop mixing with all these ethnics. That's pretty funny. Some guy was like, man, the deal I'm getting on the ethnic women is way too good. I'm like a six. I'm dating some nines. You can't tell me to stop. Um, this guy said, this guy said, yes, Asian women are good. But to be honest, they will give your sons bad genetics because then your sons will become Asian hilarious yes yes that's are, hella messed up yeah, yeah. these are the comments you see on the internet guys but sometimes they're reflective of people's deepest inner impulses um somebody said the comment i've never seen asian women dating anybody besides whites and then of course this was uh this was from a black guy but then other people are coming in some people even said asian women love money so they're not dating all white guys they're dating rich white guys um of course, some people, you know, there's just like a lot of back and forth. Someone said, no, I happen to see more Asian men with Asian women. You know what I realized about these comments, Andrew? 
it really depends on where you're located. Like, because a lot of people think that Asian women means Asian American women because that's all they're around. And then some people think Asian women is like Asian women in Chinatown. Mm. Asian women in Chinatown, nine out of 10 times, you're going to see them with an Asian guy. Yeah. An Asian woman in like Portland, Oregon, maybe like seven out of 10 times, you're going to see them with a white guy. Right. So I'm like, which group of Asian women are you looking at? Um, somebody said, is this study was 10 years ago. Has it changed? And a lot of people are talking about this book, Dataclysm and stuff like that. And somebody said, trends change. Everything becomes more open over time. And somebody said, no, 10 years is not long enough to change the trends. Mm, what do you think? Ten I think things have changed a little bit over 10 years. I still think the positioning is the same, but maybe it's gotten a little bit closer. You're saying the margin think, of discrepancy yeah, is Yeah, I think Asian guys now are getting a little bit better for their value. I think that they're being valued more, that they're not, they're looked at as more regular people and not looked at as aliens or they're being seen as normal more. So I think that is changing, but yeah, it has not flipped. You're saying the silhouette shadow of this study probably has not changed, but yes, yeah, some of the, the, the degrees and the details have changed. I agree with that. Um, somebody said, what do I do with this information? Somebody said, really, it's just useless info because you're missing context and nuance and then nobody can change it anyway. Someone said, yes, you should transition to a white man or an Asian woman. You can do that nowadays. Someone said, if you're white, you should celebrate. And someone said that being tall, rich, and handsome is still better than being white by itself. I do agree with that. Of course, yes. For being a guy, being yes. tall, rich, and handsome sure. is going to overcome any sort of racial disparity. I agree with that, but there's different layers to it, right? Um, someone said, Asian women who grow up in California tend to date more Asian guys because they grow up in Asian neighborhoods. Mm. I actually okay. agree with that. And somebody said, what happens when economic status and other factors are controlled for? These things without context or more granular data don't mean anything. Right, right, right. Um, long story short, man, I think it's interesting that this discussion, Andrew, that was taboo to have or, or like a lot of people didn't want to have it in depth 10 years ago. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. And it seems like a lot of people of a lot of races are willing to have it in 2024. Yeah. I mean, I think that it's been statistically proven. Uh, I think it's just been proven in life and observations. And uh, again, I think that there are ways to have these conversations productively, productively even with Asian women. Uh, which I have had a lot of these conversations in real life with Asian women about this kind of thing, but I don't think as many Asian women want to jump on camera and talk about it partially because like maybe how they'll be viewed by other Asian women or Asian guys or whatever. But um, I think as long as guys are not getting too problematic about the conversation, dude, let's talk about it, man. Dude, Gotta discuss. Everything's out there in 2024. I'm just saying the data's there. You know, we got all types of big data, AI analytics and all this stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, I mean, it's difficult to remove the emotion from it, especially if you're a party that is affected by statistics or you feel related to the statistics. But at the end of the day, guys, we're just trying to analyze things. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.